In this week's episode, we experience some highs and some real, real lows in Swaziland. Welcome to Matenga. So at this stage we're feeling super excited, Matenga looks amazing, there's water to our left, there's little mountains, really really stunning entrance. But little did we know what waits at the end of this road. So still feeling super excited, this gentleman in a Swazi outfit is showing us to the campsite. So we're still very hopeful at this stage. No way. No. So basically we got to the gate and we just asked them if we want to come check out our camping check what the facilities are like and that type of thing and she told us the camping's 150 rand per person so we asked if we can just go inside just have a look and there was a no you have to pay entrance fee of 70 or 75 rand a person um, so we decided to camp for one night the drive down was so amazing cool rivers we saw birds in that um, the guy showed us to our campsite. Um, this is where it's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> the campsite, we drove past a little construction area. Obviously, the guys need to do construction. Looks like they're making a cool little restaurant or boma, whatever you want to call it. That looks cool. But the camping site where you got to camp, thick grass, no bright facility, no power. That's not an issue for us, but it's virtually just camping on the grass. Mm. There are much nicer day camping things right in the beginning. Yeah. Much, much, much nicer. Yeah. This is the reason why we want to check out our facilities before we hand over our hard earned money. Yeah. So, not saying it's a terrible place or it's just, it's just that, a boom boom. <laughs> yeah, this is not ideal. Hmm. So, let's go have a look. Yeah. Okay, see? No, that already pisses me off. Oh, and there. Where? There. No, f*** this one. Welcome to our chalet. <laughs> oh, wow. <gasps> Look at the shower. See, this is a bad idea. So this is our chalet. I spoke to a gentleman called James Kunene. He seems like one of the big shots here. He had to phone his bigger shot. <laughs> and um, due to the fact that they actually don't really have camping and I expressed our disappointment and about the glass and blah, 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 yada, yada, fish cakes. Um, they've actually decided instead of us leaving and being grumpy or putting a bad review out or something like that, totally cool. Gave us our own chalet, we just don't have breakfast included, but we've got a cultural tour, we've got a dude who's gonna come take us for a walk. This cost us 300 bucks, which is normally about over a thousand rand. We've got a cool bed, happy days, and now my beautiful girlfriend can go shower and wash her hair beautifully. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, are we going? No shoes, man. Right, eh? That's it's the you. right way. <laughs> this is my way. <laughs> Off to watch some traditional dancing.
Now it's time to get educated on Swaziland culture. The next clip is very interesting. We kill a cow. The head and the feet are cooked here by the men and are eaten by the men. The women are not allowed to eat the head and the feet. They can eat the other part of the animal except the head and the feet. Yes, because we feel that if the woman eats the brain of the animal, it will become more intelligent than the she eat the tongue. We talk too much and not respect the man. <laughs> she eat the feet. She packs her pets and leaves the men inside the home. Yeah. yeah, so this is a traditional Swazi hut. There's actually no windbreak in front of this one, so this one is used to make nkumbati, which is the beer. Very neat inside and actually pretty cozy. Okay, so we're leaving to another campsite today, somewhere on the eastern side of Swaziland. Neither Steph and I can remember the name of the place. It starts with a H. Um, but first, we're going to go check out a waterfall here at Motenga, I think it's called. And then we're gonna head out and hopefully we're gonna spot this bird that I'm trying to find. It starts with a T. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the waterfall, I don't think it's far. Beware of crocodile, that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Mantenga waterfalls inside this nature reserve. Matinga was definitely our high of this trip. Thank you Matinga for making it truly special and making it up to us. We stopped inside the road for, we call it a second breakfast. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. Sandwiches. <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah, me too. So off to Makaya we go. This is an adventure of sorts, but one that doesn't end happily. Yes, has led us a bit astray, not the first time. So this is our fourth or fifth stop asking the directions. And somehow we keep getting sent left and then right and then left again. So um, yeah, I don't have much hope for this group either, but let's see what's this is. Right, we got more directions. This guy says it's 10 kilometers away. You kidding? Yeah. He says don't even worry about the towns and stuff. He says just drive until you see um, a railway crossing. First left of the railway crossing. Sure. 
this is so random. This is probably why they pick you up at the gates. So, this is a first that we've got to a nature park and the gate is closed and you've got to wait at like a little spaza shop. Spaza shop in Africa means like a little a guy that sells just the bare necessities. <laughs> Necessities, the simple <laughs> bareness, the um, basics for people to survive on the side of the road. So we're gonna give them a call, and yeah, who knows after that? Bear in mind, there was no sign to even get in here, so we didn't even know it was down here. Yeah, and then the GPS told us to turn down this weird little track. We didn't actually believe it. We asked a couple of locals, I must have stopped about eight times on the side of the road. Everyone showing us in the wrong direction, except for one guy who knew exactly where it was. So I don't know, let's check it out. It's a no phone number. Please don't be email. Oh, is there a phone number? How do we find it though? We don't have any time. Uh. Let's just see, maybe it will work. <laughs> Take, put your other sim back in. <coughs> Is there a connection here? Like, oh, there is two. All right, this is boring and irritating. It's like half past two, quarter to three, and. And we already got lost. <sighs> yeah. I'm about to lose my sense of humor here. Hi, good day. Um, two questions. I'd like to find out do you have, have space for camping tonight? Um, yes, we do. Okay, excellent. Um, and then what time can I enter the gate because I'm outside? Is it for Shane or Mliluane? Sorry? For Mliluane? For Makaya. Makaya. Oh, okay, no, Makaya unfortunately doesn't have a campsite. Makaya um, doesn't offer camping at all. It doesn't offer camping? Yeah. Really? We don't do camping. You can maybe try our sister park up Sholo which is formerly Nisela along the route to La Vumesa. Okay, I don't cool. know which direction they are heading to. <laughs> We're in front of your gate. Yeah. So yeah, that didn't end well for us. So off to Kamsholo we go. Just for a little bit of entertainment on the way to Kamsholo, we behind this truck whose tire came off, but oddly just kept on driving. Welcome to Kam Sholo, or is it indeed a welcome? Um, you are from South Africa? 
yeah boy, yes, all the way from Cape Town. <laughs> no, totally cool. All three of these ladies have been amazing. They listen to our problems. They're actually going to give us a discount. And they've really taken their notes because I've showed them on the Google stuff that it says Cantonese. And Ole and Lizzie is going to, they're really on it. They're going to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Double sweet. Thank you. Thank you. That means very, very good for where we are. Double sweet. <laughs> Alright, this is the campsite we came to at Gumsholo. It doesn't look too bad. Um, definitely needs maintenance. I found quite a lot of rubbish in the campsite itself. But our biggest problem in this campsite are these things. These are at least three inches long. The whole campsite is full of these thorns. There is no ways, absolutely no ways, that people use this a lot for camping and people are happy to drive their cars on here and have little pickings, shorts, or little kids, whatever you want to call them, walk around here with these around. So, after another sad day in Swaziland of being should I say lied to taking the piss or whatever you want to call it this is what we came to so long story short after our disappointment in Nkaya these ladies were nice enough to give us a discount but we came to the campsite and Jenna already have two of them in her feet. She was wearing slops. This, you definitely actually need combat boots or something intense here. Yeah. I wasn't happy to drive my car here, yeah, so Jenna went to reception. I'm going to shoot into the light though, but she went to reception. And she got us a beehive. So we've got a cool little beehive. I'm going to show you inside. We need to settle in because we're actually both a bit irritated or I'm gonna use my language a bit pissed off um, so let me show you the beehive this is number 12 Woohoo! so this is our beehive that's actually pretty funky I like the smell smells African Jenna hates the smell I like the smell so that is it First half of Swaziland, absolutely amazing, double sweet, so cool, come here. Second half of Swaziland, which was just today. Mmm. Alrighty, it's next morning. We've just got up about 20 minutes ago and we're going to get out of here. Best thing we're going to do is just get out, get out on the road, make our breakfast and coffee on the road. Um, yeah, we just got a bit of a sour taste in our mouth, so... No interest to stay or even make coffee in the lodge. Oh, morning. Good morning. What's your good news at least? That we're leaving. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say at least you slept well. I did sleep very well. Okay, that's good. I was very tired. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Alright, so we've just crossed out of Swaziland into South Africa. On our way to Swadwana to go see Alastair. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and join our adventure.